Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Yingling. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist here at Lancaster General Hospital. I'd like to take some time today to introduce you to the Da Vinci S surgical system, and in particular, uh, how we've been using it for gynecologic procedures here in Lancaster. Uh, da Vinci surgical system uh, has been around since approximately 1999. Uh, some of the uh, aspects of Da Vinci surgery that are different than regular surgery is that it's what's called minimally invasive surgery. What that allows the surgeon to do is to uh, perform procedures that have traditionally done, been done with large incisions with much smaller keyhole incisions uh, uh, through the abdomen. Uh, the advantages of minimally invasive surgery are uh, that the patients uh, generally have a shorter hospital stay. Overall, they have less complications and the recovery is much nicer. Uh, since, uh, uh, as any surgeon will tell you, what hurts with surgery is the incision, not what's done inside. Some of the procedures that we've been able to uh, do with uh, Da Vinci surgery and gynecology are hysterectomies. We've also treated fibroids by removing fibroids uh, through these little incisions, which fibroids are large solid tumors, and uh, up until recently, uh, those surgeries would require a bigger incision. Uh, we've been able to do surgeries for pelvic support problems and also there's applications for fertility surgery as well as treating problems such as ovarian cysts and endometriosis. The advantages of the uh, uh, surgical system uh, called Da Vinci are that it gives the surgeon uh, a number of uh, uh, better controls compared to traditional uh, surgery and even compared to uh, standard laparoscopic surgery. Uh, over many years, what's, what's happened with surgery is that we've gone from making large incisions to uh, being able to perform minimally invasive surgery with, with what was called traditional laparoscopy, which were tiny keyhole incisions where we put tubes called ports and we can pass instruments through there and a camera and we stand at the patient's bedside and perform the surgery. Uh, traditional laparoscopic instruments, however, had limitations which made performing more complex surgeries difficult. Uh, the Da Vinci surgical system, one of the biggest advantages it has is that the instruments that we place through the uh, tiny incisions are indeed wristed. So it, it truly is almost like performing surgery with your hands, only you're able to perform it with these instruments in very small spaces with small incisions. What we found is when we uh, started to convert to uh, performing uh, patients with the Da Vinci surgical system is that our, uh, our percentage of patients that require traditional incisions has dropped considerably. Um, I start the procedures with the Da Vinci system, we're able to complete the procedures all the time essentially with the minimally invasive approach. With traditional laparoscopic surgery, the rate of conversion to an open procedure because the surgery is too difficult, you can't access something with the traditional laparoscopic instruments, is probably at least 10 or 15 percent even in, in very experienced hands. The image that I see sitting here at the surgeon's console, which is where we actually operate, is a three-dimensional high-definition image. The, uh, it's uh, high definition like our, our greatest TVs and uh, DVDs at home, but also it's a, a three-dimensional image. The Da Vinci system, since the camera, the lens that's going in is, is actually two lenses, you have a stereoscope or three-dimensional image, so it, it gives you, again, much greater control and comfort in terms of exactly where you're placing sutures or uh, 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 cutting tissues. That the image also is greatly magnified. In other words, we we can go in very close to see fine detail and you can see individual little capillaries even. So overall the uh, amount of uh, blood loss patients experience from surgical procedures is less with this because again we can see better and we have better control. With abdominal surgery, which most gynecological procedures will have, uh, the problem with the incision is that you tend to use your abdominal muscles for everything you do. You cough, you sneeze, you bend, you can have pain. So if you can have these very small incisions, the, that, that sensation is significantly reduced and it makes you much more mobile. This is the, uh, what we call the patient side of the Da Vinci surgical system. As you can see, it consists of uh, uh, four arms, as we call it. Uh, the one arm is where the telescope goes in that we're able to see and see that high-quality three-dimensional image. And then these other three arms 
are the arms that uh, support the surgical instruments. You can see uh, one of the instruments I'm holding here, and I, if you can make out here, you can see that the instrument's what we call wristed. It's able to turn at 360 degrees and open and close, of course, as well. So as you can see, it's very similar to the wrist on the human hand in how it operates. And again, that uh, gives the uh, surgeon much greater precision and control when working in these small spaces inside uh, the human body. The only thing you should know about this, this instrument, uh, this device, is that even though it's fairly big and imposing looking, it's actually a very gentle instrument. It um, uh, is able to uh, uh, hold uh, tissues uh, very still and uh, for long periods of time compared to having an assistant uh, that their arms start to get tired and their instruments can move a little bit. This is uh, somewhat like the interface between the surgeon's console where I was sitting and the patient card. These are the uh, devices that control uh, mostly the camera and the lighting that allow us to uh, uh, see this uh, very high resolution image for the surgery. So here I am at the surgeon's console. This is where the actual surgery is performed after uh, we stand at the patient's bedside, uh, put the tubes or ports in, and uh, put the instruments into the Da Vinci patient card. Uh, then the surgeon comes over here, and there's always an assistant at the patient's bedside as well, in addition to operating room personnel. But the actual surgeon working with the system sits here at this surgeon's console, and as you can see here, there's two uh, arms, that I'm looking in here and seeing this uh, high-resolution image and able to uh, move the surgical instruments precisely with these surgical arms here at the, at the surgeon's console. Of course you need to work with your, your physician in terms of uh, what is the best approach for, for you on an individual case. Uh, the uh, things to look at with uh, surgery, I think, are one is that is there a true need and an indication for surgery. Uh, surgery, of course, is uh, I tell patients it has a surgical risk, which of course we try to minimize uh, by using the best instrumentation, having lots of training and experience, uh, but there always is some small background surgical risk with any procedure, and you need to balance that risk with your problem. In other words, for gynecologic procedures, many women are, are suffering uh, uh, problems that may cause them to uh, miss work or have to leave work. Um, pelvic support issues can be a, a chronic issue. And so when that need becomes sufficient and it balances out the, the surgical risk, then, then you need to decide, well, what procedure is best for me?